welcome back to the channel. Right, quick uh, demonstration here of uh, the igniter boxes for jet engines. Uh, I can't take full credit for the, the design of this and it has changed over the years as things have got better. But it was something that Richard and I, Richard Stavely and I worked on over the years because we wanted a better solution for lighting the engines. So I'll quickly go through the components, show you a demonstration and show you why the particular plugs we use are so much better with um, jet engines that spray neat fuel in. So uh, we'll, we'll crack on with that then. So guys, here we go, we're in the shed now. Uh, I just want to take you through a few of the components. Um, I'm just running this off a 12 volt battery with a, a little uh, momentary push switch. Here's some of the components we used to use for these. That's a, a drop down converter. Some of the earlier little boxes we used to use needed a voltage of uh, 5 volts and then later ones voltage of 6 volts. Um, there's, there's umpteen versions of these available on eBay and Amazon. I'll put a link up to the ones I'm using at the moment. Uh, some, as I say, the early ones ran at 3 to 5 volts, newer ones 6 volts, and the latest ones um, like I've got here, that one's at 12 volts straight in. Makes life a lot easier. So we've got the little uh, higher voltage generator. There's a capacitor there with the rectified diode in line uh, and then we come down to the, uh, the spark gap device. Uh, this is basically like a pressure switch that uh, once the capacitor builds up a charge inside it, the gap in there is set to a, a voltage and allows the, uh, the energy to jump out and then to the surface discharge spark plug. Now you'll see in a second why these are so much better than the uh, using a normal spark plug. I mean, yeah, a normal spark plug will work and you can wire it up straight to one of these devices where it's all uh, high voltage generators. But Richard and I got to the stage because we were putting so much wet fuel in so quickly, you can dampen the spark down on a normal spark plug. You can make it too wet. I'm sure some of you can remember back in the days you used to try and start your engine with a choke and it wouldn't start and the spark plug was too wet and you wouldn't get a decent spark. Well, I should demonstrate why these are so much better with a can of WD-40. Um, so just let me demonstrate what it's like. I don't know if you'll be able to see the spark. You can probably hear it. Spark. Um, now, this is where it all starts to get interesting. If I wet that plug, you can see well and truly soaks now. Watch what happens. Yeah, the thing likes to have get wet. So, I can't stress this enough guys, please be sensible, I've uh, worried over sharing this information, but I think there's a, enough people out there that are sensible about what they're doing. That capacitor, there's enough in there, if you discharged it, touching it yourself, it'll, it'll knock you out, it could kill you. So, uh, yeah, please be sensible, guys. Right, I think that's about it. So that's the ignition box or bang box or whatever they, they call. Please, guys, be sensible about what you're doing. Most capacitors can hold a charge for some time, so don't go sticking or licking them or anything stupid. But there again, I mean, you can go and buy a chainsaw from the local hardware store and do yourself a lot of damage. So just be sensible about what you're doing. You can see there why the uh, 
the aircraft igniter plugs are so much better when they get wet, they like wet fuel, they spark more vigorously. So, a uh, couple of updates about the X project. Things are coming, I've got parts ordered, I've got a strain gauge order to, to make sure they're thrust, and we've got uh, a kind offer from uh, one of the group members who's uh, helping build the test stand. I'll uh, put a quick, quick picture of that up at the end, but for now, guys, keep safe. Be sensible what you're doing if you try and build one of these. Until next time, take care.